You're listening to Philip DeBella, and this is Flashcast by PDB. Hopefully everyone's 2019 has kicked off to a great start. Everyone's got those goals and well underway. Make sure that uh, we're, we're being the best that we can be and moving forward to when we get to the end of the year, everybody looks back and says, geez, I was productive. But um, today's topic, uh, creating value, um, something that a lot of people keep asking me about is how can you um, constantly build businesses that create value? And of course, if you're not building a business that's creating value, then you're either going to fail or you're not going to have uh, longevity. Very simply put, to me, the best business in the world solve problems. And the way that they solve problems is that they create value for their audience. Now, let's let's address the different elements of value. Um, you know, there's, there's four kinds of needs to me. There's functional, there's emotional, there's life changing and there's social impact. So if you look of the four kinds of needs in people, um, we can have a look at this and call them the elements of value. So what makes up a value? Um, there's functional needs, emotional needs, life changing needs and social impact needs. Now, to me, the elements of value work best when leaders always recognize their ability to influence the growth and create value a priority, um, you know, or make creating value a priority. And and what that means simply is that, to me, the best leaders lead from beside or behind, not the self-proclaimed leader that stands at the front. You would have heard it in previous flashcasts. They actually recognize that they are in a position to influence growth. And you can influence growth by making um, you know, the, the, making the concept of creating value a true priority to people. Now, obviously, firstly, you need to identify what kind of um, need needs to be met. Is it a functional need, an emotional need, a life-changing and social impact? Secondly, you need to make sure that leaders are working towards, you know, influencing growth and making um, value creation a priority. Now, companies should always establish a discipline around improving value. Now, there's some, you know, this is part of the cultural change we talk about is that the best companies are always constantly looking how they can add value. They're looking at how they can add value around product development, around pricing, and around customers. So, you know, looking at the marketplace and saying, what is it exactly that we can do new in terms of product development? What can we do in terms of pricing to add value? And then what can we do to our customers or for our customers to add value to them? Not everything is about products and price. A lot of people forget that the customer needs are, go further than just product and price. As thus, how we started, um, customers have functional needs and emotional needs, as well as life-changing needs and social impact. I can tell you a story of um, one of our biggest customers in Melbourne. They were going to have to close their shop for a funeral for a Friday, which is their busiest day of the week, because one of the um, workers' parents, well, mother died. And long story short, Debella Coffee went in with a whole team of people that covered the, the, the shifts of the people that needed to go to the funeral and they didn't need to close for the day. Now, from an emotional need, from a life-changing need, um, Debella was able to add value to this client. And this was a very large client who used to have several coffee companies, always talk to them about or offer them, you know, um, great incentives to change. However, because Debella Coffee had the ability to create uh, value for them, and in this case, it was an emotional and life-changing value, they didn't change. So if your value is only around product or pricing, then you're not going to create the emotional engagement. And as I keep saying, emotional engagement is the glue that keeps um, customers wanting um, to stay with you or to choose you. Now, one thing that I always make sure that I do is, is I believe that great leaders obviously coach their, their team. They coach their employees constantly. And it's not a destination. It's a journey. Um, and one of the things that I constantly coach against is that I create this, um, hunt for value. Uh, mentality in the team. I'm constantly asking the team, how are you going to generate value for our customers um, or our prospective customers? And it needs to be something that becomes innate, that becomes subconsciously in mind. So then when they're talking, building proposals, um, they are constantly looking how they're going to add value to a customer. And sometimes remember, the customer is internal. Uh, when I say customer, it's not always external. So obviously, HR department's internal customer is its team. Same with finance, same with marketing. Um, it's not always external. So you, you've got to create this this um, mentality of value that people are always looking for how they're going to add value to their customer, both internal and external. 
Obviously, um, great areas to um, you know create value in is when you're solving problems, uh, reducing anxiety, you're creating safety nets, you're supporting, you're caring. Um, these are all areas that um, show that you obviously care um, and deliver value to clients. Um, against linking it back to functional, emotional, life-changing and social impact. If you're not uh, generating value in those areas as well as price and product, um, then you, you, you surely aren't winning as much as you can win. Now, different industries will value different things as a priority. Remember that, that we all have different priorities and, and it's not one formula meets all. And I often get asked silver bullets. I don't believe in them. Um, most certainly sometimes there's best practice, but there's not always a silver bullet or most of the time there isn't a silver bullet that's going to affect, that's going to, um, you know, be a, cu a cookie cutter approach to help. You've got to remember that different industries will value different things. Different people will value different things. And therefore you need to find out what it is that they value. And it, that's why we talk about great leaders ask great questions. So ensuring that you constantly communicate uh, and um, listen and see what the market needs or what the customer needs or whoever the audience is at the time. Um, you know, an example is food and beverage values. Um, but everyone has different values when they go out to eat in a restaurant. Some people value quality, some people value, you know, the taste, some people value variety. Um, some will value the design and aesthetics of the shop. Um, and some people will value the service of the business. Um, the, what happens at the end is I don't say, I always say that people don't just go about judging a place on its product or its price or its service. They develop their own formula for value. And if you think about value, value is where the right quality, the right environment, the right price, the right, um, you know, service all come in at a price that you're happy to pay for. And of course, what I'm happy to pay for something is different what somebody else is happy to pay for something. So, you know, really demystifying the why and why it's important to understand creating value is that you can't win on price alone because you can't get cheaper than cheap. So making sure that you are generating value is obviously very important and understanding that everybody values different things and that the formula for creating value lies in asking the right questions to the prospective audience or to the current customer so that you can generate a, call it a recipe, a formula that works for them because everybody's needs are completely different and there is more than just price and product that will help you win when it comes to creating value. So guys, as I always say, be the best you can be. Remember, if you're not solving problems and creating value for customers, you don't have a sustainable business. Understand that there's many ways to create value and the difference between winning and losing will be the value that other people will see in what you're doing. Until next time, you've been listening to Philip DeBella, Flashcast by PDB. Get those questions in, get those topics in, engage, share, and more importantly, be the best you can be.